Hey everybody, it's me Bakisa and welcome back to my channel here at the Canva Cafe. And I just want to give a big shout out to all my returning subscribers. So as you know, we're still on our 12 days of Canva Mus. It's almost over. And we're going to be recreating this flyer. Um, it's going to be pretty simple, straight to the point. I'm not going to do too much fuss. That way you could just have something clean and classic. And if you want to do some extras to it, feel free to go ahead too. So um, we're going to start, of course, from a blank canvas. And I just decided to go with gray today. I don't know why. Um, but, you know, you could use your brand colors. And I'm just going to pop our model on here. You can use whoever, whether you are the model, you can pop you on here or whatever. And I do apologize in advance for some of the background sounds um, in my voiceovers. Because, look, your girl just starting the channel. I ain't got no microphone. I ain't got none of that. But if you like, you can donate to the channel. My cash app is down below. And anything you give will go towards the channel so I can put out better content for y'all. Until then, don't judge me. <laughs> Now, I was going to use some pieces of torn school paper in the corners for a little added interest, but I just wanted to keep this uh, flyer a little bit more clean and classic and a little bit more streamlined. But you could, too, if it was um, something that you would be interested in. Also, I forgot to mention, I did put a shadow behind our model, and I'm also putting a shadow behind the sewing machine just so that the images won't look so flat and they will appear a little bit more realistic and i'm gonna just start uploading a few more images for the flyer just to um, have them on the page to work with so i'm gonna upload things that pertain to it so you could put anything that you feel would be important or relevant to your class whether it be a typewriter I don't make typewriters anymore. <laughs> Um, needle thread whatever you feel like will pertain to your class you go ahead and add them to so I'm just using the blur to blend um, all the elements together so you won't see where one starts and one ends and then I started to write the text out and then I realized, look, I already have the text written. So I just decided to copy and paste just for the sake of the video. So you get the gist. You just type out whatever your um, copy is. So here's where I decided to just copy and paste just to save you guys some time and myself because I truly want to get these videos down to uh, a short view time so that you're able to get in and out and keep it moving. So now I'm just going to add a gold um, shape and to me adding gold or silver or something of that nature kind of makes your flyer a little bit more luxe a little glam so that's just something easy and quick that you can do to you know upgrade your flyer
So I just decided to add this little notebook behind here and then I'm just going to position it in place and then I'm going to turn the transparency down a little bit so it's not just so white and bright against that gray. And please, before we go on any further, please hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And if you made it all the way through to the end of the video, please write the word class in the comment section. Now just have some fun decorating with um, elements that you think will pertain to your flyer. So now I'm just going to group the elements and make them a little bit bigger. And here we have come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and found it very helpful. Please let me know in the comments any other videos you want me to make. And once again, thank you. Make sure you click the like button and share and subscribe. Love you. Bye.